Howdy y'all. It is that time again, food journal time. I'm in here in the paint room trying to get some better light on here so I can see it a little better and show you guys a little better. So let's get started here. Okay, this is gonna be for the last week starting with Thursday the 29th. Okay, so I started off with coffee and cream at 9 and 11 and then I had a cheeseburger without a bun and then at 7 p.m. I had some ribs and sugar-free barbecue sauce and then at 8 I had coffee and cream and some dark chocolate so for this day my total net carbs were 8 and my total calories were 1880 now I've started using like the bottom half of the page every day where I keep my running total of my food and what I've eaten as kind of a journal so this entry is just talking about how I went clothes shopping and kind of listed off the different things I bought and was talking about how um, I'm all set in the clothing department and I'm really excited that they all fit me now and not when I lose some more weight so that's what I've got on my journal entry I've been enjoying doing the journal entries too okay so Friday I had coffee and cream at 1.30 p.m. and at 2 p.m. And then at 8 p.m. I had a beef patty and broccoli and cheese stuffed portobello mushrooms. I just listed all that stuff out. And I also had Brussels sprouts. And then uh, coffee with cream and dark chocolate. Now, if you'll notice, my coffee, I'm only using two tablespoons of cream now instead of three. And I've put a little notation down here and uh, talking about I've been using a pinch of salt in my coffee to cut the bitterness and using less cream. And this is a great tip from Aaliyah. So thank you, Aaliyah, for that great tip. And my numbers today were 19 and 1,285 calories, 19 net carbs and almost 1,300 calories. And... On my little journal entry, I say only one meal today and still very high carbs. This is because I've gotten into the bad habit of checking my numbers, and if they are low, I'll have chocolate right before bed. This is not good eating behavior, so I'm going to try to not do it. Because I was noticing, you know, I would come in here and be like, oh, I haven't had very many carbs today. I can have chocolate, you know, and that's pushed my carbs way up today even though I only had one meal okay so on Saturday the first uh, I had coffee at 8 at 2 p.m. I had a cheeseburger without a bun and at 6 p.m. I had roast chicken with salad and at 7 I had coffee my total net carbs were 7 and my total calories were 1225 and my little note or journal entry today says that my numbers are super low today, which made me want to eat some chocolate at the end of the day. I didn't, but I really wanted to. And I need to get out of the mindset of spending all of my carbs and cows every day because I would look and I would say, oh, seven carbs and 1200 calories I could have a piece of chocolate hell I could have two pieces of chocolate so I've I've got to quit thinking you know I, I can have chocolate when I want a piece of chocolate I shouldn't have it just because I can quote unquote afford it at the end of my day so I'm trying to not do that and it's difficult because I would I was catching myself like not eating good food and saving up my carbs and cows so I could have that chocolate in the evening and that's counterproductive to what I'm trying to do. Okay, so Sunday the 2nd, 9 o'clock coffee, 11 o'clock coffee, 1 o'clock roasted chicken, zucchini, spinach, bacon, parmesan cheese, yum yum sauce. I got it all added up over here. And then I had some coffee and then I had a beer and some pork rinds and fritch onion dip. And my carbs were 15 net carbs, and my calories were 1,085. 
and my journal entry says my carbs and cows are low but I'm still not seeing results. I started using two tablespoons of cream in my coffee instead of three and I'm trying to eat less but I seem to be losing and regaining the same couple of pounds. There are lots of reasons this could be the case. I'm losing inches instead of pounds or I'm gaining muscle while losing fat but these feel like excuses. The truth is consistent weight loss is very difficult if you're over 40 and that's just the way that it is. Okay, Monday the 3rd, coffee at 7, coffee at 11. At 4 p.m. I had ground beef, cabbage, mushrooms, and soy sauce just kind of all fried up in a pan. It was really good actually and it wound up being uh, 680 calories and six carbs so that was a good portion and very filling and uh, at five o'clock I had some blackberries with cream and at six I had coffee and then for supper that night we had steaks so I had a New York strip steak and asparagus and I was gonna put butter on my asparagus but then I realized that that would put me way over my calorie limit so I didn't have the butter and I still broke my calorie limit for this day. So on my journal entry, and that's the first time I've done that in a, since I've started doing 2000 calories. Um, so my journal entry says, even though I decided against butter on my asparagus for supper, I still exceeded my calorie limit for today. I need to focus on less coffee. I use a lot of my daily allowance of calories on cream in my coffee, and I'm still not drinking enough water, sometimes only one glass a day. I must work on my water and coffee intake. So that, that was my thoughts for that day. Okay, on Tuesday the 4th, electricity went out in the middle of the night, so yay. Um, we've been having a lot of high winds lately and a lot of big thunderstorms and trees are falling over because it's been consistently wet. So it's happened more than once this spring. Okay, so at 3 p.m. I had almonds and dark chocolate. And I have to tell you, I just did that for convenience. Um, I had went all day without anything to eat or drink besides water and I just got I wasn't opening the fridge or freezer so that everything would stay cold and I just got some chocolate and almonds out of the cabinet and ate it because I was hungry I mean it wasn't the best food choice but that's what I did uh, at 6 p.m. I had a coffee at 8 uh, we had beef patty Brussels sprouts and then for dessert I had some blackberries and cream and then I had a coffee at nine. My total net carbs were 22. My, 20, my total calories were 1,280. And my journal entry for today said, I've noticed when my carbs are low, my calories are high. And when the carbs are high, the calories are low. I did not meet my goal today because I had chocolate, again. The power went out in the middle of the night and didn't come back on until 6 p.m. So I went all day without coffee, which just proves it can be done. <laughs> but I took head headache tablets with caffeine in them because caffeine headaches do not play, and that is the truth. And if you're a coffee drinker or if you're addicted to caffeine in some other form, you will know that you gotta have your caffeine in some form or another. You'll get excruciating migraines. Uh, so yeah, this this day proved to me that I don't have to have coffee, but um, I really want it and I need to reduce my cream. I'm down to two tablespoons, so we'll see if I can work on that. Maybe just having fewer cups. So this was Wednesday's uh, results of my weigh-in. I was down 0 0.4 pounds. Um, I had coffee and cream at 11. At three, I had fried cabbage with bacon and mushrooms and soy sauce. Um, and that's a very good meal. It's really low calorie, 135 calories, four carbs, and it's a plateful. Uh, so then I had coffee again at six. At 8 p.m., we had pork chops, 
with sugar-free barbecue sauce and Brussels sprouts and at 9 I had another coffee so on this day my total net carbs were 13 and my total calories were 1250 and my journal entry today on my weigh-in day uh, it says I was down about half a pound today and it still feels like I'm treading water with the weight loss but at least I'm not sinking <laughs> Okay, and I think I'm going to quit there so that next week I can start. I meant to do this on um, Wednesday when I did my weigh-in, but I forgot. So I'm going to stop there for this week. And I appreciate y'all joining me for my food journal. And until next time, y'all be sweet.